Hey, oh my god, I was not on the right. There we go. Okay, woof. <laughs> you guys didn't see that. We're back with... No. Oh, I had the wrong Skype window open, and it was showing, like, text of my mod chat. It's not no. a big deal. It's nothing no. nothing important. Um, we're back with Dicing with Death. Last part. Here we are. Here we are. So you're standing outside of the temple watching the cleanup and process. Yeah, and I was looking for a way... What what else could I do to screw over the town, was the question. Um, I've attacked their temple. I've attacked their tree in the center of town, which didn't fucking burn down. It kind of pissed me off, but whatever, that shit happens. I'm feeding creatures to some something evil in this town. Don't know what it is. Um woman apparently a woman <laughs> an attractive woman an attractive woman no because you didn't check her out yeah a standing willpower check to avoid boobies yeah I'm a priest if it, if her gaze will put you to sleep imagine what meeting eye contact with her nipples would do oh my god um what are we what are we doing what do i how do i want to can't poison their water supply any further. I guess I could push bodies on the wells, but um, something. Someone was saying something about ogres blocking the tunnel to solstice. That is true. And there's that weird guy in the tavern. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do with these guys. So are you just hanging out outside of the temple? Yeah, uh, does the tavern that I'm at have like an outdoor seating area? No, and this time of year, fuck that shit. Okay, well I go hang out inside the tavern for a little while while I contemplate, you know. Uh, okay. I get I, uh, I get a, you know, a nice ale, sort of, and yeah. if they you sell pipe that, weed, then I'll get on, some pipe hold weed. Hold on, you don't even get that far. Oh. So you're, you're walking back to the tavern. Yeah. And um, roll a perception check. Sure, another one. Uh oh. Twenty-seven. Okay, so you noticed that same guy from the tavern earlier, the big hairy man approaching yeah. you from behind. Approaching me from behind. He's not wearing any shoes, and there's about an inch of snow. I. And he's walking towards you somewhat deliberately. Okay, I stop in an open area and okay. turn to face him and say kind of, of rather loudly. Sort of walks up. Sorry. And say kind of rather loudly, uh, is there anything I can do for you? He sort of, shh. We need to speak somewhat discreetly. He sort of... Then step a little bit closer and speak quietly, but I'm not moving from this spot. Okay, he sort of steps up to, like, he stands sort of like facing an awkward, like you're facing this way. Mm-hmm. I don't know, so like you're standing next to each other awkwardly facing different directions. Right. He sort of says in a low, husky voice, you notice now that he's standing next, how tall is your character? I am 5'10". Okay. You're still, you're a reasonably tall fellow, but he sort of towers at least a head above you. Mm -hmm. All right. And he says in a low voice, you have a stench about you. I think you may be hunted. Have you seen any dogs or jackals, perhaps? Maybe, maybe not. You may be in grave danger. Who are you to bring such rumors to me? My name is Jedediah. Uh huh. And? And. You sound like, like a crazy man. Fun, I would. That's all you need to know. You are a man who's walking barefoot in snow. He sort of looks down at his feet and says, Oh, oh, that's right. <laughs> He's like, yeah, this has some weird, like, I don't know, like an uh, autistic moment where mm -hmm. he's like, you can like visually see him making a mental note to himself to put on shoes next time he goes outside. Um, I kind of like take my hand and grab him in the like inside of his elbow. Mm -hmm. and say, I don't know what you are. Okay. You I don't know. He doesn't 
stop you or anything like that. You're, yeah. I'm a little what? Uh, you, I don't know what, how your what your character. If we've rolled for your character's sexual alignment, but you get a sort of a grip of a thick, muscly arm. All right. It's a little bit distracting. All right. Um, <laughs> I don't know what you are. I don't know what you other, your other friends in this town are, but you are. Well, let's say you're so, my number one candidate for that priest over there. He, he's sort of met your gaze and has not put you to sleep. Nice. <laughs> um, I don't know what you're suggesting, but I'm, I'm on your side here. Really? Just, Why would you be on my side? He, okay, he's going to... He's making a shrug move. I, I'd let go of him. Script. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right. Just, Why, just be careful and let me know if you see anything. I see things yeah. all the time. If he, I'm, I'll be at the, you know, the Swift Foot Inn, and he gestures to an inn sort of at the south of the town square. Right there, I don't know. What are the, what's the dog? <clears throat> Maybe nothing. And I've seen it twice already. You have? Three yes. times, maybe. Same one? Probably. Can't be sure. He looks a little troubled. And nods. Okay. What is it? It's not a dog. It's a, it's, it's a jackal. And it may be hunting you. Why would a jackal hunt me? I'm just an innocent traveler. I mean, don't get flattered. I'm sure the bitch has other prey. Can a jackal transform into a human? He sort of smirks. I think I'm safe. Now that's, now that's, that's some nonsense you're talking there. Good. Just be careful. Come for me if, if if you should see it again. Although chances what are, what if I told you I knew where it was right now? It he gets serious and he starts pulling his um uh, his like leather satchel off his back. What if I, I told you it had cubs and it was feeding them? He inhales sharply and doesn't respond. You must take me at once can't not now um it's too crowded okay uh he his left arm sort of juts out at you but you sort of slip out of the way mm -hmm. I, I take a step back and say hey what are you trying to do buddy loudly <laughs> he sort of <clears throat> and sort of storms off towards the tavern okay um I keep the hand that I use to grab him kind of free of my clothing, and I make a beeline towards Felicia's place. Mm hmm Okay. Uh, and I make sure the hand that doesn't, like, scrape against my clothing or touch the ground or anything like that. Okay. Um, let me know when I get there. Sure. Can you get there without incident? Okay. I open the door, using my right hand, close it behind me, make my way to the staircase, and I say, Darling, I think we have a problem. Come smell this. In just a minute. Sorry, in sexy feminine voice with husky undertones. Yeah. This time I wait at the bottom of the staircase. All right. She comes up, like, wrapped in a blanket or something. Yeah. I hold up my hand and say, Who is this? She grabs your wrist, long, slender fingers, nice, firm grip, um, sniffs your fingers, <laughs> smell my finger, baby. Mm -hmm. This is intriguing. I don't recognize it, but... He's looking for you. He knows you're here. He looks up at you sharply. He knows you're following me. This isn't good. 
Do you know where he is? Yes. Well, I know where he's staying. I don't know if he's there right now. Probably. I think I threw him off my trail for the moment. Also, he's not human. I know. I don't know what he is, though. Is he one of you? No. All right. You still have that, that silver? Mm-hmm. You may need it. I kind of step back and fold my arms and say, well... I'm wondering if it may be time for me to leave. Now, here's my question. I've got... Jackals on the left. And I'm guessing werewolves on the right. And now, the jackal's something pretty. Something pretty to look at. And I kind of like the jackal. Jackal and I seem to be getting along fairly well. We've got a mutual working relationship here, but the sense of feeling that I'm getting is that the werewolf is a little bit stronger. So, now, considering if the jackal's going to run from the werewolf, why wouldn't I just ally myself with the werewolf? Because I have a good thing going I here with you, and I really don't want to see you leave right now, otherwise it's going to be a lot harder to do my job. I have to push people down wells. You know how easy it is to get spotted doing that? Now, I would prefer that we stay and Deal with this problem. You want to kill it? And she smiles. That's... I... She these... looks almost like she doesn't trust you, maybe? These creatures can be killed. She nods, but... I don't know if I'm... Well, werewolves are one thing. But they tend to travel in packs. Mm, I saw him with a few of his friends, but he looked different than them. He might have just been trying to blend in poorly at that. Now, I'm not sure how much you know about me, but I am a, a cleric of some use. I think if we were to okay. trap the creature somehow, maybe with a net, I should be able to dispatch it with relative ease. I know you fear for your cubs. She looks, and her eyes narrow at you. But you don't need to fear me here. You and I are on the Chase same star, team. He's after me. I know. Mm. And I think we could use that to our advantage. Use me as bait? Uh-huh. We tell him that you may be here, and we set up some sort of trap where he comes in, we cast a net over him. While he's struggling with the net, I use my God-given powers to sap his strength and bring him to his knees, and if that does not finish him off, well, I hold out the silver dagger. I hope you're as powerful as you seem to think you are. So do I. All you right. have ways of damaging them, do you not? She, she sort of cracks her jaw. Exactly. It's... You're not. He's not invulnerable to your powers. I should be strong enough to break through his resistances. Excellent. I think we need a net. Do you have money? I do. But you have such beautiful eyes. She sort of smiles. Um... Uh, okay, um, so she, hold on a sec, alright, so she reaches out and sort of like grabs you by the scruff of your shirt mm -hmm. and shoves you against the wall, and uh, I'm going to go get our net, you're going to stay here, 
And if anything happens to my babies, then she just sort of balls up your shirt and twists and stares you right in the eyes. Now don't move. Then she sort of shoves you like down the staircase and walks back up to the town. Uh, she gets a few steps and realizes she's wearing a blanket and then <laughs> walks back downstairs and puts on her, her dress. As she walks back downstairs, I say, I like a strong woman. Okay. <laughs> so, all right. so, all right. So she goes into town and you wash the cart. Yeah, I while she leaves, I go up and get a good look at what's in that cart. Okay. You see two baby dogs, I guess. I mean, you're, you're no right. zoologist, but maybe they could be jackals. They're certainly smaller than whatever you saw. Yeah. So these, these are like babies. Okay. I mean, they're sort of, yeah, I mean, about the size of maybe a gerbil. A little baby dog yipping and whatever. I ponder to myself how I could easily crush the life from these creatures if I wanted to. Could you? I ponder it to myself. <laughs> and then I, you know, leave them alone and wait for Felicia to come back. Do you any do you do any other prying or Oh absolutely. I look all over the place. Okay. I, I scour mean, the maybe room. To describe what you're particularly investigating. Well so um, she was it's pretty, yeah, sorry. I wanna look where she wa when she was like making those weird noises and starting to stand up and cover herself. Mm -hmm. I wanna inspect what was over in that corner of the room um that was there's the table that she was using to butcher mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. there are no signs of any uh, there's a pile of entrails in the corner but there's no other signs that there were bodies dissected here um and by the judging by the pile of entrails there's probably more than just the dwarves okay um, i want to go up the stairs out of the basement and kind of like search around the main floor okay so the roof is pretty much missing from the house mm -hmm. um, it's pretty like yeah old and abandoned, basically just the walls remaining. Snow is starting to pile up in the rooms. There's, like, discarded remains of furniture, but otherwise there's not much left in the house. Right. It's like, it's like a three-room upper story with a basement. Okay. All right, well, I... Um, I look... What, is there any... Are there any um, other pouches or holding areas in the cart with the cubs? Um, can I have you roll a perception check? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, there's no other compartments, but the um, the cart seems unnaturally heavy. Like you bump it, and you're like, "This shit is not wiggling." What the? F I mean, you know, you're like, "This is." There's something deceptively deceptive about the cart. What are the cubs sitting on? Uh, blankets. I reach my hand under the blankets. Um, okay. All right. One of the cubs nips you for two damage. Motherfucker. Um, but you move the blanket out of the way, and there is some slats of wood there. Okay. Uh, I try and open up, like, a slot of wood and reach inside and just, like, feel around. Just shove the cubs off to one end of the... Yeah, just kind of, like, push them or... to the back or something and... Yeah, using the blanket and avoiding yeah. their jaws. Yeah. So underneath the wooden boards, there are, like, bricks of copper. There's got to be, like, maybe two dozen of them. So the whole base of the cart is just loaded with copper bricks. Okay. You're guessing hundreds of pounds of copper. Hmm. Okay, I put the, the planks back on, readjust the blankets properly, and uh, go back and just kind of sit and wait. Okay. All right, so maybe, um, maybe an hour later, Felicia comes back. Um, okay, she is bundled in a robe now mm -hmm. um, and carrying a net. Excellent. She sort of sets the net down, takes the robe off, and you see there's just blood all over her, around her mouth and down the front of her shirt. Oh, and you already had lunch. I was going to see if you wanted to get anything. She smiles, walks over to the cubs, and pulls a couple fistfuls of flesh out of her pocket, feeds them. So what are you planning with the net? Well, 
maybe we can go I look up um, are there any rafters in this basement where someone could hide <clears throat> um there's no like obvious place to sit but there's certainly space above the doorway yeah you know, if you could like rig up something with a hammer and nails or I ask her could you hold could you find a way to perch yourself up there with a net so when this door gets opened that you can drop it on him she looks and scratches her chin not much of a climber but hmm. maybe maybe where will you be? Well, my plan is to go speak with this, whatever his name is, and uh, say, hey, I think this is the spot. Lead him here, have him go down first, because he's all blustery, and I will get rid of this creature, blah, blah, blah. Look at me, I'm Mr. Tough Guy. I want to go first. He walks in first, net drops on top of him. I come up behind him, hand on the shoulder. And uh, watch his flesh sear away from his body. It'll have to be tomorrow, though. Okay. Okay. I can be here waiting with the net. Okay. Get whatever food you need for tomorrow. I don't know when I will be here. But I will be here tomorrow as soon as I can. I just ate. Hmm. Lovely. Okay. So. And I leave. Um, were you planning on giving her any warning before, like, are you just showing up? No, I'm just going to show up. Okay. Like, I, I don't know when I'll be there, so I'll just show up, be ready. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll try and make some noise from upstairs if I can, but I can't promise anything. Okay. Okay. So? Uh, I head back to the... Yeah. yeah. I head back to my inn, um go to the bartender and say, hey, I think I'm going to be here a few more days, actually. Um, how much per night again? I forgot. I have two. I think I was... Let me take a look. I think it was a, like eight silver a night or something. Yeah. And I gave him like four gold or something. Yeah. Yeah, eight silver. Yeah, I think you're right. Eight silver a night. Okay. So I'm going to want to be here for at least... Um, well, let's give him, uh, I give him 40 silver, so that's another five nights. Okay. Okay. Um, and then I head over to the, the tavern where the, the shoeless guy was, said he would be. Okay. And I walk in and look around at the tavern room for him. He's sitting at a table by himself. I walk up to him and sit down next Here. to him. I thought you'd show up. Copper. What does it mean? Copper? Lots and lots of copper. Um, I'm not following. The she-beast. She's been collecting copper. Hmm. Maybe she just likes shiny things. I wouldn't read too much into that. Well, you I know don't know. Women. Do you know where she is? I think I found same her. Word? I. This I, is that same afternoon, right? Right. Uh, I don't have any spells today. Spells? So you're a wizard. I'm a cleric. I do the work of God. It's... He nods. Uh, All right. Tomorrow. I can't have this thing following me anymore. It showed up somewhere that I needed to be today. Tomorrow at first light. Mm, I'll make a quick trip to my cabin. I'll see you first thing in the morning. Meet and me at my eat. tavern. Okay. He nods. All right. Uh, and then I kick it for the rest of the day, doing whatever shit people do when they don't have anything to do. <laughs> All right, do you have any requests? Or shall we just fast forward to tomorrow morning? Fast forward till tomorrow morning, and I go all cause light wounds. 
all cause white wounds. Yeah. How many hit dice do you think this guy has? I don't fucking know, but I am not taking a chance. <laughs> so, um, all right. So first thing in the morning. Mm-hmm. When, first, when, when is first thing in the morning for you? Oh, uh, I don't know. Good. Whenever I wake up. I mean, I go to bed when it gets dark and I wake up at first light, I guess. Okay. All right. So you get downstairs. It's probably like 7 a.m. He's already down there sitting at the bar by himself. Okay. All right. He nods to you. Okay. And he walks over to you and hands you a, like a something folded in a couple of, in a piece of cloth. I kind of turn my back to the bar or turn my back to the populated section and lift the cloth without like actually revealing to the whole thing, just like lift a corner yeah. of it. All right. It's a dagger. It looks like it's like rusted to all hell. I look at him and say, this is a rusty weapon. It's the only thing that will work. Rusty weapons? Iron. Have you cold forged. Your steel will do no good. Cold forged iron. Okay. Wrought iron? Not silver? <laughs> what have you been reading? Fairy tales? I guess. Okay. He not gestures you out of the bar. Lead the way. Uh, did he hand me a sword or a dagger or what? What did he hand? It's, it's, it's a dagger. Okay. It looks pretty great. It's all like one sheet of iron. There's no the hilt is sort of wrapped in wrapped in leather. Mm -hmm. But it's everything else, just like basically just like an iron shiv. Right. Okay. Stats of a dagger. Cool. Um, I I lead him. I lead him there. Okay. Um, as on the way there, he unzips his that little leather satchel he's had and pulls out a two-handed axe with. It looks like. I mean, if you hadn't heard his explanation just now, it would look like an old rusty two-handed axe. But you assume that the head is probably made of um, iron. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So he lets you lead the way. Um, I walk up to the door. Mm-hmm. And so I, you're in first. Uh, well, I, this is the the well, so there's two doors, right? There's the outside door, and then there's the door down to the basement. Yes, it's not really a door down to the basement. It's just it's like an open, I mean, it's like a doorway. Okay, no actual door on it. Okay, uh, I get to the door, mm -hmm. and I say, uh, and I kind of very front door. Yeah, the, the very front door, and I look around and I say, okay, this is the place. Now, and he says, any prayers, priest. <sighs> I, I make a show as if I'm kind of nervous and I pick up the dagger and I just kind of like shake my hands and then I like drop the dagger accidentally just kind of like oh shit fuck god damn it I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not a combatant I say and I deep breath stay behind me I go down to pick it up and I try and like accident I try and bump the door with the hilt on my way up like not super loudly but just kind of like a like a, oh fuck I, like as if I'm nervous and I kind of take a step back and go hold on on your shoulder, on your shoulder. I'm a man of God. I, I have yeah. I have spells, but I, I, I do not. Soothing palm, paw, <laughs> and says, uh, "You can wait here if you need." And no, how about how about you door. take the point? How about you just go first? Yeah. Okay. He opens the door and starts poking around the house, and he looks back to you. I think they're in the basement. Okay. And he starts tiptoeing downstairs. Oh God. <laughs> Okay, so he's got got his two handed axe, which I should probably look up the stats of. Is that in the PHP? So. Uh, no, that two handed axe is only in the combat and tactics. All right, uh, which I can get for you. Just speed and a damage. Uh, it's hopefully, she doesn't take too much shit. of a beating. Um, okay, so anyways, he walks down the staircase into the dark. Do you make any sound or anything? Um, I walk behind him, and I do not walk quietly. I don't. How close do you walk behind him? Uh, I get. I let him stay like five feet in front of me. Yeah. Okay. So you do. Do you do leave a square of space? It's not like you're. All right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I right. leave a square so he, space. He steps into the basement. Okay. Um. You. S okay. You see a net fall from above. And he, but he manages to slide out of the way and not be pinned by it. Oh fuck! Okay, weapon speed for two handed axe is nine. Mm -hmm. uh, damage versus medium is ten. Damage versus large is what? 
D10? Yeah, D10. Okay. Damage versus large is 2D8. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. So, alright. So you see the net fall, and it and he sort of leaps out of the way. So let's go ahead and roll for initiatives. Oh, Jesus. Speed 9 now. Yeah. Oh, frick on a stick. 11. 11. So, you... Um, Alright, what's your action? You were going for... You're going at the same time as Felicia. Okay, my action is to uh, go up to this, this werewolf-esque creature uh, and... Like, act as if I'm going to push him out of the way, but cast Cause Light Wounds on him. Okay. So I'm just like, I go up to him and grab him and Cause Light Wounds. Yeah, I'll go ahead and grant you auto surprise. Yeah, you can auto hit with this first one. All right. Um, you, I mean, you're assuming that this is probably Felicia, um, but it's, it's, it's about her height, but covered from head to toe in full in hit full in fur <laughs> yeah with yeah with the face and snout of a dog sort of spotted and reddish okay sinister looking claws that's fine uh roll for damage all right uh yes go ahead and just roll for damage um felicia is leaping at him and um snapping her jaws at him uh she he manages to evade her jaws. What do you roll? For? One for damage? Okay. All right. Jedediah sort of screams. Says, what the? F <laughs> Woden's name. Okay. So. And. Um, too many freaking windows to sort through. Okay, he is going to go. Yeesh. Okay. God, this is game over, isn't it? He just rolled a 20. No, I haven't really rolled for him yet. Okay. 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 So he makes two swipe. Oh, wait. Duh. What am I? He just makes one attack with an axe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay, all these, like, okay, claws and teeth. And it's like, no. No, just the, uh, just the one axe. He's got an axe. Okay, he only makes one attack with an axe at Felicia. Raising her with it. Uh. Alrighty. Alright, go ahead and roll initiative. Seven. Ooh, seven. Nice and low. Right. Um, you go first. Okay. Am I still holding on to him, or do I have to make a new touch attack? Um, he's moving. Like, combat's going on. He's moving around. Cool. Just like, have to make All a right. touch attack. RD20. He says to you, he says, did you ever give him, his, give him your name? Uh, no. He says, priest, what's going on? Attack the bitch. I'm sorry, I can't tell who's who. You look alike to me. <laughs> All right. Um, go, go ahead. Okay. Do, do any, am I, what is my position relative to this creature? Um, this you're all pretty much like, Close. I mean, within. Can I take a half move to get behind him and grab him from um, behind? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, do I still get surprise? Um, I think technically you're not supposed to, but I. Yeah. No. No, you won't get surprised. Okay. You can get back attack. Okay. Um, and I, I only need to. Well, okay. you need to attack AC ten. AC ten. Okay, cause so the rest of his AC is a function of his hide, not his uh, dodging. Oh, but even if it was his dodging from behind, yeah. he couldn't dodge. Yeah. Yeah, okay. go ahead and yeah, roll. Critically touch him. Critically touch him, okay. Not that it does roll, anything. Roll for damage. Yeah. Actually, that's not even a critical touch. 
Five. Five. Six damage to this creature. Oh god, I'm afraid that it's got like four four D eight HP and he's gonna have like I'm not gonna get only four D eight? I'm I'm afraid well, four D eight or greater. I'm afraid that he's gonna have like more HP than I can deal and then I'm gonna be fucked. I'm so terrified. what's the uh, what's your actual sorry, what was the damage? Five? Five. Yeah, I, I don't know what werewolf HP is off the top of my head, but I think it's I think it's like so four or five. Werewolf. I, I'm, I've been presuming werewolf this whole time because she handed me a. She said something about silver. I don't know if it's a werewolf or not. Okay. I don't know. So Felicia makes a. tries. Or, yeah. Felicia in her hybrid form makes a bite at uh, Jedediah and misses. Jedediah's turn taking a swing at Felicia and missing as well with his axe. Alright, so he's like, whose side are you on priest? And takes a step back from you. Um, let's roll initiative again. Nine. Nine. Um, so Felicia goes first. Successfully clamps her jaws onto Jedediah's shoulder. Yes. Ugh. Yes. yes. No. Uh, I mean, she did damage, but... Oh! <laughs> All right. All right. So you can go ahead and go. Um, am I still behind him? Uh, yes, you still get back attack. Miss. Okay. Does that mean the spell does not go off, or uh, you don't lose the spell? You just—I okay. mean—you like don't get to touch him. Yeah. So, it's, yeah. Okay. I don't know. I—I I wonder what the rule. Yeah, I'm it's gonna rule the spell get saved. I don't know what the. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, so Jedi, I get like, yeah. Whose side are you on? And he drops his axe, mm -hmm. and he starts to unbutton his shirt, and you see him like reach for the edge of his pants and let out just like a guttural roar. And he sort of like drops to his knees as he's removing his trousers. And yeah, <laughs> contorting in all sorts of horrifying ways and hair starting to sprout from every inch of his body. And he just starts to grow and crinkle and sounds like bones are breaking and it's uh, horrifying to watch. And so he sort of just grows into this hairy mess on the floor in front of you during that round. Okay. Next round, let's go ahead and roll for initiative. Nine. Nine. Damn it. That net was so important. It really was. I rolled for her hit. I, I know you did. I know. Size large, you lucky bastard. Felicia goes first. All right, she misses with their bite, and Jedediah stands up. He's now, he's probably, he looks like he's grown a couple of feet. Um, Christ. He, stand, he stands, yeah, probably about eight feet tall, broad-shouldered, head-to-toe in fur. Look, doesn't look like a wolf. Round ears, maybe more bear-like, you'd guess. Bear-like? Bear-like. Jesus. Swipes with his massive paws at Felicia. Oh my god, what have I gotten myself into? Holy shit. He snaps his jaws at you and misses. Five. Okay. Um, so he... Okay, yeah. So he misses you with his teeth, but he manages to, like, get both of his... He gets big old bear hug around your woman. I I kind of say, a were-bear? <laughs> with, like, a, a, absolute surprise. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... Okay. 
All right, so you go. It's your turn. Uh, I walk up to Felicia, who's being held by him, and I I cast Cause Light Wounds on her. <laughs> you fucker! <laughs> uh, roll the hit, probably plus four or something, because she's held. Okay. Eleven. Six damage. And she's not surprised. And I'm like, I she like, passes out in his arms. Uh, I say, I fucking thought you were a werewolf. <laughs> he growls and lets her limp body fall to the ground. And okay, you are not suited for battle, priest. She. I thought she. Roll a she, charisma check for me. <laughs> She told me you were a werewolf trying to kill her. I didn't realize you were a werebear. I'm so sorry. You are such a noble creature. All right. Charisma? Uh, yeah. Oh, God. D20 plus 8. 22? All right. He seems to buy your convoluted story. <clears throat> I am so sorry. Yeah. Her cubs yeah. are there in the basket. All right. He falls to his knees and starts to go through the same bone breaking <laughs> spends about a minute returning to his human form good <laughs> uh yeah I, I walk over to the cubs and throws on his shirt again yeah I, I take the the steel dagger that he gave me the not the steel the um, raw iron dagger that he gave me and uh, i just stab one of the cubs with it okay um, roll to hit. Uh, any bonuses or penalties for stabbing cubs in a cart? <laughs> um, you can get high ground. Plus one. Alright, d20 plus one? Yeah. Eight. How's that work? Mm, no. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> like, well, stab, like stabbing babies in a cart. Okay. whatever anyways okay um so he returns to his human form and walks over uh do you wish to in i mean like do you inter so he's a we, we must kill these creatures i know i'm trying but they keep Still fucking young. moving <laughs> okay so do you do anything to object no if anything i try and help okay yeah so between the two of you you managed to kill the two club cubs but they do i mean they've got a yeah They've got nasty jaws, and they seem to take more of a beating than a jackal pup should. should. More of a beating than a jackal pup should? Like, for, the, for their size and how cute they are, you're like, these motherfuckers take a couple stabs to go down. Okay. All right. Uh, and then when that deed is done, I say, um, under, under the cubs, you will find some boards, and there are bricks underneath them, copper bricks. And I kind of like move the bodies out of the way and start looking at them. Hmm. I, I'm so sorry. She was so beautiful and she said that she had been... Well, it doesn't matter what she said. I, she had told me you were a werewolf. You're awfully weak will. Especially in the heat of battle. You have much to learn. I'm so sorry. Thank you for your assistance in this matter. Why don't you come back to my cabin and we can drink and celebrate. I may perhaps have a reward for you. Thank you. Can you tell me what what vile creatures are these? She was a jackalware. Fuck is a jackalware? Never heard such beasts. An evil jackal with the capability of transforming into a human. Okay. All right. Um, I kind of I want to pull out one of those copper bricks. And mm -hmm. take it out into the gold, uh, the sunlight, and make sure that it's copper and not gold. Okay. Um, yeah. So he drags the cart up mm -hmm. to the surface. Um, he cuts off her head on the way out. Okay. Okay. Um, drags out the cart to the surface. Yeah, I, you can take a look at one. It's pretty. You're pretty sure it's copper. What would she want with copper bricks? It's like 200 pounds of copper bricks. Yeah. What would she want with 200 pounds of copper bricks? <laughs> you don't know. Oh, no, that's what I ask him. He's like, eh? 
Money's money. Copper, though? I guess. It's gonna be precious metal. Okay, so. Do you, you follow him to his cabin? Uh, I look back at the corpse one time and say, ah, oh, what a waste of beauty. <laughs> it's, uh, I really uh, want to hit that. Hold on, hold on just a sec. Yeah, you, you, I mean, you had your chance and you betrayed her mid-battle. Yeah, there's no fucking way we were going to win that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Four hit die, more like seven. Oh my god, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm so... If you caught him in the net, but... Yeah. yeah. As soon as I saw that that hug attack, I'm like, nope, nope, nope. Battle's over. Changing okay, sides. So you say a thing of beauty or whatever, and you you look. Anyway, yeah, she reverted back to being that stray dog that was chasing you in the street. Yeah. Upon her death. Right. So you're like thing of beauty. Oh, it's just a dog. Not even like the hybrid form, just like a right. dog. A jack. All right. So he, yeah, you follow him out of town. He drag dragging this goofy little baby carriage. Kind of kind of funny to watch. Mm-hmm. Um, it's maybe like a couple miles north of town. He leads you to a cabin in the woods, pretty stereotypical. One room log cabin, there's a wood pile on the outside, a little workshop on the outside. Brings you inside, and there's it seems quite sparse. There's a table and a bed, there's a shelf. Um, uh, yeah, so, anyways, uh, um, he so on the shelf, there's a couple of Look like magical scrolls and a couple of potions and things like that. Other, I mean, they they only stand out to you because it's so sparsely decorated. Right. Um, all right. He's sitting here. He's sitting for your assistance in hunting this creature. Um, you can have one of one of these, and he sort of gestures to his shelf of magical items. Um, he says these scrolls are from a wizard who I worked for. I, but as you said, you are not that kind of spellcaster. So no, I, I doubt I could use them. Potions. This one um, has great strength in healing wounds. And this other can cause you to grow to the size of a giant. I want that one. <laughs> I say. He, he laughs and says, the little men always do. And he sort of hands you, it's sort of like a sort of freaky radioactive green color. I kind of unstop it and just sniff a moment and put the stopper back on. Mm, it smells like like too vegetably. It smells like Ugh. spinach or something. Gross. It's like pleasant, but it's like... Rah, rah, rah. Okay. Uh, you have a potion of growth. Sweet! And this seems like a good transition into quaffing with Koibu as the werebear um, pours you a giant flagon of uh, honey wine. Sweet! In order to celebrate. I celebrate with the werebear. Um, unless you have terrible, terrible things that you want to do and try and get yourself killed. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Fuck that shit. It's like a good resting spot. I, I party with the werebear and I, I bail in the morning. Yeah. Okay. Actually, uh, before uh, in the morning, I'm going to want to ask him about the ogres, but we can do that next week or whenever we play next. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, before the morning comes, you probably wind up getting absolutely drunk under the table. Okay. Uh, well, we'll see how the, we'll see how the results play out of, in your drinking and quaffing with Koibu, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, how about this uh, this experience shenanigans? Yep, 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 yep. So, you killed two dwarves, I'm which are worth one hundred seventy five experience each. Uh, I'm not going to give you one hundred seventy five. Let's give you like thirty. Uh, let's go ahead and give you a hundred. I'll give you one hundred total. For the death of the dwarves, um, there was an additional 100 for your little dinner time quest, feeding the little baby jackals. Remember, there were three three dwarves. There were three dwarves, yeah. I was okay. assuming 35 H XP. Okay, yeah, that's, fine. that's fine. One of them was a woman, one of them was a child. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, yeah. 100 XP for killing them. Um, for the jackal wear, she gives you, it'd be 270, but divided by two because you weren't the only one in right. that. Right, yeah. I mean, it's not an MP. Yeah, yeah. obviously, Jedediah doesn't get experience, but right. But it gets split. It gets split. So two seventy divided by two, so you get one thirty-five for killing Felicia. Um, so hundred and one thirty-five. What was the feeding experience? I was just I was giving you a bonus of a hundred experience for 
doing that whole storyline arc of collecting food to feed the cubs. Okay, I just didn't uh, get the number. Just think you could have had baby jackal wears, Neil. I know, I know. Best pet ever. I thought it was just a werewolf. I didn't realize it was a werebear. <laughs> okay. Uh, any priest? Yeah. Uh, yes, that's what I was trying to think. Do you know how to calculate XP for you? Do have that X, is that XP calculator you got easy to use? Uh, yeah, it's pretty intuitive. It's pretty bad. Um, and um, I'll give you just an extra fifty for like the whole killing Felicia thing because he sort of flip flopped on whose side you were on. I mean, I guess that is sort of your MO, but oh, yeah. and an extra one fifty for the, the temple bullshit. Okay. Um, so and let me calculate. And so, so that should be it. Um, you can add ten percent to that. Let me calculate the um, the priest. The temple bullshit. Temple shit was awesome. Do you know how much chaos and strife I added to the world by murdering priests and hanging? Signs of Beelzebub over their temple. <laughs> they think it's a priest blood that's spread over everything, and in I, in a like a a wine skin. How how sickening is that? <laughs> All right, so you get ninety XP for the priest. Okay, so that brings us to uh, six twenty five before I do my additional ten percent for uh, high willpower. Six twenty five. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that would be plus an additional 62, which brings us to 687. Hmm. Sort of a small session, but... That's fine. That's they can't good. all be big winners. A lot more experience if you could have taken down the bear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I prefer to live. Yeah. And you got a, you got your first magical item out of the deal. Woo-woo! Oh... <sighs> So this seems like a. Is there anything else you want to say, or this? No, I think this I, is a great stopping point here. Great stopping point. So we'll pick up. Well, I, I think this seems like a good point to transition to quaffing with Koibu. I think it's a great we point. Roll, we can roll a few uh, Constitution checks to see how sick the honey wine makes you, and maybe as an added bonus to your viewers, I can we can make the first couple of donations double shots, and I'll drink along with you. Ooh, ooh, that's <laughs> great. Uh, let's kill the stream first, so that way I can cut the vods of of dicing with death a little bit more easily and we'll uh come right back with uh quaffing with koibu in just a moment just a moment see you guys soon